Crafters and Stationery Enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit, and today I have an ink swatching video for everybody. I just got in a five bottle order of Sailor inks, and I'm super duper excited because while I have a, a number of the Sailor Monio inks, and I absolutely adore them, I am trying for the first time uh, the Yurameku inks, and I have two colors. One is supposed to be kind of like a color shifty purple, and the other is a color shifty green. Green and purple inks are probably my favorite inks out there, so very, very excited about that. Uh, and then I also have two different uh, shades of pur purple from the Shikiori line, because again, Purple is one of my favorite colors of ink. Um, so yeah, just very excited for these. I have a couple more that are apparently back ordered. I didn't realize, but um, once those come in, I'll be very excited about those as well. Another, it's another like swath of different sailor inks, and I'm, I'm really starting to love them. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first one is gonna be uh, this Sailor Monio ink. I don't have too many light or bright greens and Ukikusa is one of those that I've seen a lot that I just never personally owned a bottle of. I have a sample and I really like it. I just, I don't know, I just never picked up the bottle. So I'm very excited for this one. And this of course comes in that lovely um, Manyo bottle and it holds 50 milliliters. These things are huge. I really, really do love them and they, they feel really substantial and like just, they're just really nice, clean lined, and I like that a lot. Oh, it's so pretty. And obviously it's still wet, but you can see that especially with my uh, one millimeter stub uh, dip pen, it's going to show off a ton of shading once it's dry. Uh, very excited to add this one. And then once it's dry, I'll do another close up for everybody. Okay, next up is uh, one of the Yurameku inks, like I was telling you, and this is Kyokuya. And it's supposed to be, I think, sort of like a greeny brownie red i think so let's see how this turns out like i mentioned i have not used any of the urameku inks so i'm very excited so this is the super cute little bottle now i believe these are is it 20 milliliters is it 20 yes 20 milliliters so not huge um and they are a little bit pricey. I would say the Manyo inks are such a really, uh, such a great deal, to be honest, for 50 milliliters of ink. Uh, but these ones are such interesting shades, at least from all of the reviews that I've seen. Whoa, what is this even? Seriously, it's not even dry. And can you see this? What in the world? It's so pretty. Um, so it looks like the green is sort of like a deep kind of kelpie tone, which I absolutely love. Uh, but then it's got this really beautiful sort of pinky tone to it too, in addition to a boatload of shading. Um, this is going to look amazing when it dries. Okay, next is another Yurameku. This is Byakuya. And it's sort of like a purpley toned one, I think. And once again, here is the 20 mil bottle. I will say small or large, 
Uh, Sailor always has like really substantial feeling bottles, which I absolutely love. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. Oh, wait, what is going on? What? Not what I was expecting, but I'm not mad about it. I don't think. Pretend like that never happened. Okay, so I don't really know what to even call this color, but I'm totally here for it because it's beautiful. Um, yeah, we'll have to see what it looks like when it dries down, but that's, that's kind of a stunner. Man, like, I really like that a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, two more inks, and these are both going to be from the Shikiori line. Uh, this is Nioi Sumire. Um, it's kind of a irisy color, I think. Uh, sort of bluey purple. It's from all of the reviews I've seen, um, really kind of walking the line between blue and purple, and I'm very excited to try it. And this one is another beautiful little clean cut glass bottle. Yeah, that one really does kind of walk the line between the sort of purple and blue tones, but I like it a lot. Um, we'll have to see when it completely dries down. I do think it's going to change the tone a little bit. Uh, and of course, part of my writing is like super thick with the ink, <laughs> just by the nature of this particular dip pen. Um, so we'll see what happens. Okay, final color for today is this other Shikiori. This is Potsu Potsu. Um, I have this in the cartridge. I've actually, as far as Shikioris go, I only ever have used the ink cartridges in my mini, uh, my Sailor Pro Your Slim mini, and I really love those, so I'm not surprised that I really am enjoying uh, the bottles. And again, beautiful little cut glass bottle. Okay, that's another one that really walks that line, but I do think it's going to be, and it's very close to the Nioi Sumire, but I do think this one's a little tiny bit lighter, um, and this one just runs a little bit more purple, but we won't know until it completely dries, which is going to be a couple minutes, so um, I will be back in just a few so that we can take a look at what all of these look like when they've dried down. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I am back with my dried ink swatches. These are so lovely, um, as promised. Let's do some close-ups. There's the Sailor Manio Ukikusa. It is absolutely beautiful, vibrant, vibrant, goldish green. Uh, there's not a whole lot of shading, but it is beautiful, and it's one of those that I'm pretty sure is going to be legible, whether I'm using a stub nib or even a fine or extra fine. You can see there it's still perfectly legible. Um, right below it is one of my chroma shading inks. I think these are so beautiful. I know that they're sort of 
becoming a bit topic of debate as to whether they're too popular or whatever, but I think they're really cool and I think they're pretty. Um, this is the Kyokuya and I don't even know how to describe this color, but it is gorgeous. This is um, Tomoe River paper, by the way. So um, just so you have that information, uh, like grayish greenish with some beautiful pinks in there. It's just, it's lovely. So yeah, loads of shading, loads of just like tonal shift, just awesome. Right below there is my big surprise. I had no clue that this is how this color was going to turn out. Um, the reviews I'd seen, it doesn't really look like this on theirs either. So I don't even know what to say, but it's amazing. Um, you can definitely see where, <laughs> where the color shifts are coming from. Like you've got a bit of a like pale sea foamy teal and then pinks and then greens and it's just it's just it's just awesome and that's the uh byakuya and it's super cool and i just have to figure out what pen i'm putting it in but you can see again even with your finer lines you can definitely still read it so that's pretty awesome and then my two very similar shigiri inks uh though uh, Nyoi Sumire is definitely a little bit more blue, irisy toned, uh, and you can definitely see the sheen at the edge of the letters. So that's really nice. I always like when sheen isn't like too in your face, but is still present. And then below that is the Potsu Potsu. And this is a much darker, richer kind of uh, deep purple blue. And I really like this one a lot. Um, I actually have one of my pens inked up with this right now uh, in the cartridge form. So yeah, these are, I, I knew that I liked this color, uh, but I'd not had a chance to use it in anything that had a stub style nib. So super excited about that. But yeah, so those are my five sailor inks from this most recent haul. Uh, as I mentioned, I do have another, um, back ordered haul that should land any time who even knows but I'm very excited about that it has a couple more of the Yurimekus and some other uh, Manios and it's just I'm very excited for those colors to come in too so if this video was entertaining useful interesting whatever please do consider hitting that like button or potentially even subscribing to the channel uh, as always I love putting these videos together it's so much fun uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you're still there, you are awesome. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.